Erling Holland will follow Kylian Mbappe to Real Madrid a year <laughs> from now. It's going to happen. We're going to have Erling Holland, Jude Bellingham, and Mbappe on Real Madrid. <laughs> no. Possibly. <laughs>
it is a poss- very slim possibility, I should say. Very slim possibility that he ends up at any other club. But as of right now, if I'm a betting man, I'm definitely betting that he's wearing the Real Madrid jersey next season, for sure. I agree with you, Akeem. Don't worry. I think like 90% of the soccer population agrees with you. Yeah. Or shall I say football population agrees with you that, uh, yeah, he's going to head to Real Madrid. I totally 100% agree with you. But knowing, as you know, a bi- as you're a big Mbappe fan and PSG fan in the past, uh, in your past, Akeem, knowing how uh, Mbappe works, you know, with his mind, giving us head scratchers, like extending another two-year contract with PSG, and then saying he wants to leave and have a clause to leave PSG, mm-hmm. and and wanting to play with Neymar and Messi, but then can't get along with Neymar and Messi, it reports were off the field and on the field, the chemistry wasn't there. There's And then seeing that, uh, you know, Mbappe, instead of going to Real Madrid, when he was with Monaco as an eighteen-year-old, he went to PSG. So he's got a head scratcher. He always likes to keep us in suspense. Of course, hundred percent, he's going to Real Madrid. I'm not even getting a ninety-nine percent chance. I'm giving a hundred percent chance. However, knowing Mbappe, Akeem, don't you think he could turn around and just blow our minds and go to another team in uh, La Liga or, or Premier? That's that's a very good question. I'm I'm thinking right now maybe some possibilities, but oh, it's good. Gotcha. <laughs> it is very difficult because I would say Barcelona, but I don't think they're able to afford them in terms of their financial situation. So that one should be that one should not be really a choice. But um, in in La Liga, that like Madrid's not really of the caliber that I could accept someone like Mbappe. So Real Madrid Arsenal, in La Liga, Arsenal. Yeah. Liverpool. So in 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 um in room in uh, La Liga, Real Madrid's the only option. So looking to Premier League now, Arsenal would be absolutely would be sick. Ar- Arsenal would oh. Arsenal would be insane if, if Mbappe goes to Arsenal. He'd be the king of Arsenal, hundred percent the king of Arsenal. It would be Thierry Henry two point oh on crack. It would be Even crazy. better. No respect. <laughs> no disrespect to the great Thierry Henry, but you, he's yeah, no better, disrespect. Better but player. The, like Mbappe would just would just go insane if he performs, of course. But yeah, I will say apart from Madrid, Mbappe to Arsenal would be insane. Um, Mbappe, Mbappe to City. I don't see that one happening. Mbappe to Chelsea, that would be pretty good, but Chelsea's not in a in a good uh situation right now to accept Mbappe. Well, so like, Liverpool will be interesting. Man United just wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. Mbappe goes to Arsenal, able to win the Premier League, Champions League there. You're seriously talking right now. I, I I seriously think that um you know, he he is so much value, like he will be the big free agent. But like you said, it's it's kind of written in stone. He's going to Real Madrid. He might I think it, it reports are uh Kim, I think I told you this before off uh camera that um Real Madrid does not want Mbappe to announce he's coming to Real Madrid until am I correct, after the Champions League? I believe after they play Dortmund in the Champions League, then maybe then Mbappe can announce it. But Mbappe wants to announce it now, reports are saying. Yeah. It's much sure. Real Madrid, but uh, not sure. maybe that but, could be a possibility because you you don't want to create too much like excitement or um just too much noise about one player that's a potential player that's not going to your team yet before a big Champions League game. You want to keep keep the environment um cool and calm, right? So yeah, may- I can see that one happening for sure. Maybe he'll come maybe to what? TFC, come to <laughs> Toronto. How <laughs> many goals do you think Mbappe was <laughs> if he played in MLS? A uh, hundred goals a year. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. It'll destroy Messi's Miami uh, reign. Messi no, won't no, be happy. He'll no, foil exactly. Messi again, like he did at PSG. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, great great input. Great input, Akeem. Uh, let's go with the last topic question. Question number three. If Mbappe goes to Real Madrid, well, we're saying he will go to Real Madrid, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's what Akeem and I are trying to say. Lock when he goes to Real Madrid, when he goes to Real Madrid, uh, what impact do you think you'll have for that team? Oof. It'll be frightening. Uh, playing against that team, playing against that team would just be crazy in terms of quality, um, quality, like football IQ, but and obviously the pace. The pace with with Mbappe and Vinny, it's like teams are teams are probably be scared to even press because one ball over the top into the space, and it's basically a goal every single time. But um, that would be interesting. I think his legacy. I, I think his legacy. If he does end up going to Real Madrid, as we say. I think it'll be a very good legacy. I think he should go down as one of the one of the greats, the greats to ever wear, wear the Real Madrid shirt and obviously ever play football as well. I think Mbappe definitely. I mentioned before and last time you had me on here that I think Mbappe 
is one of those players that you can see a difference in terms of how much she really wants to chase greatness, like how you might see it in like a a young Ronaldo, even a young Kobe or Michael Jordan. You can see his mm-hmm. his hungerness is a bit different compared to the other top players. So um, I think he goes from Madrid. He does his business, ends up becoming a legend, and yeah, I think that's a that's how the story closes for Mbappe. You know, we always make breaking news on Tea Time with talk, Tommy soccer episodes, right? Akeem, Akeem, and I make big breaking proclamations. I'll make it for us for this episode. Akeem, you ready for this? What's I this? always got to do a ridiculous statement to just go drive the Tea Time viewers nuts. So this is my statement's going to be. What's this? Early Holland will follow Kylian Mbappe to Real Madrid a year <laughs> from now. It's going to happen. We're going to have Erling Holland. Jude Bellingham and Mbappe on Real Madrid. <laughs> no, possibly. Okay. That could. What do, what do you think? 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 I don't. I don't see that. It could happen. Real Madrid. They obviously have the history of the Galacticos, but I, it, it, it could happen. So I, I don't. I don't say too much. It could 100 percent happen. But I think it's 90. percent Would I personally want to happen? I don't think so. I don't think. I don't think Why? maybe. I don't, I don't think. Why wouldn't you want that to happen? Why? Because I don't, I don't think he, he his style of play meshes well with other players on on Real Madrid. I think I think that it's not the best mesh in terms of just football. But and but Haaland scores goals. He is obviously of world class status in the striker position. So yeah, I, that's a good take though. Haaland's Haaland's Real Madrid would be a good one. It would I mean, be a I mean, very I, much super team. Call me crazy. I think there's a ninety percent chance it's gonna happen. He's he's gotten statements out where he said, uh, you know, ma- this is gonna make big news, but anything could happen. When a reporter asked him, Hey, you guys ever want to play for Real Madrid? He's like, you know, anything could happen. He didn't shut that door down. That's yeah. number one. Number two, he there's reports that his agent's always putting that clause in for him to escape. Yeah, so he can go that. to Real yeah. Madrid. They're calling it the Real Madrid clause, Akeem. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. come on now. Every all signs are pointing to this guy. Uh, coming to Real Madrid, his dream team, and I think it's gonna work because you said I agree it doesn't doesn't mesh. Whatever the reason why PSG did not mesh with Neymar, uh, Messi, and Mbappe, at P- uh, you know, was that they're just three globetrotter players. Uh, like Craig Burley from ESPN UK is doing a great job over there. Said they're just globetrotters. They they didn't play any no, no one of those three played defense. It was just offense, offense, offense. So it's always yeah. like 12 men to 10 every time. There are two men, three men yeah. short. Here, yeah. you got Jude Bellingham who will play defense, right? Yeah. Holland, I think he will. I think if uh, the coach is going to be Ancelotti, if, if Ancelotti tells Holland, like, you got to play a little defense, I think he would do that, you know? Now, Mbappe is the one guy that probably won't. But then <laughs> Bellingham and Holland. Uh, yeah, there's also... Fit in. Yeah, yeah, there's also there's also Vin- Vinny, Vin- Vinicius Jr. Vinny so, plays defense. It's really interesting because if, if, they could have, if they could have Haaland in the strike and then they could have, I guess, more of a rotation between Vinny and Bob and Rodrigo on the left and right wing. Um, maybe even one of them, maybe Rodrigo sliding that 10 sometimes. Um, that's a very scary team because the pace, the mm-hmm. power, the strength, the IQ, the skill, the ability, the list goes on. It's like, how do you stop that? The only way, ow, the only, ow, ow, the only person that could... Ow. The only way you stop that is if they beat themselves, like most Galacticos teams have done in the past, just being so good that they just they beat themselves. That's the only way you could beat them, but no opposition of 11 players could beat them. That would just be way too much football and talent. Yeah, And as you know, Akeem, uh, Man City's uh, coach, uh, the great Pep Guardiola, if he great. if he walks, if he does I not he extend, yeah, if he retires, he Holland's gone. <laughs> if Ho- the reports are Holland wants to make sure Guardiola is going to stay there long time for city but reports are rumors already this, this is last year coming up Guardiola this cu- upcoming season so mm-hmm. Guardiola retires Holland's yeah. leaving and he where else would he want to go than his dream team even though Mbappe's there and Bellingham's yeah. there where else would he want to go why not give it a shot you know I understand yeah. you got the Ballon d'Or situation between Bellingham uh, Mbappe and Holland but at the same time I'm sure they can put their egos aside to try to win Champions League titles and become one of the greatest historical teams in soccer history. So I mean, I all that's coming up into play. And if you and for Holland, he's thinking on the back of his mind whether he you know admits it or not. So why why wouldn't he? If if yeah, if, yeah. if if Guardiola retires after yeah. this season, 
Not so, retired. If he if he if he ends his um contract, he, yeah. Uh, which is, which seems to be what's what the report. I think he are. is. I'm pretty sure that is the rumor, and that's most likely that's the rumor. And it will be, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is why I love Hakeem. We finished right on time. On um, other than that, other host co-host of mine, Norbs Cabrera, always goes overtime. <laughs> I'm kidding, Norbs. We love you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Norbs. We love you. We love you, Norbs. Uh, <laughs> but yes, uh, man, Hakeem, great take again. Uh, once again, guys, uh, thank you for joining. Akeem and I, Tea Time with Tommy, soccer episode. Akeem, you have a final farewell for the Tea Time viewers. See you guys again, hopefully. Go Real Madrid. Real Madrid, come on. <laughs> Yo. Yo, guys. Like and subscribe to Tea Time with Tommy, or else Tommy will not stop texting me to remind you guys. To subscribe and like all the posts and watch everything because this guy's a legend. <laughs>